I'm going to walk you through a couple example problems to help you with your sheet. All right, so my first one I'm going to take a look at is problem number four. 3x plus 2y equals negative 4. We are going to solve for y. Okay, and so the first step you need to do to solve for y is move the x over. All right, and so I look at it and I say, okay, well, that's a positive 3. So to move it over, I have to subtract it. I carry down the 2y, and I subtract negative 4 minus 3x. Now, there's nothing you can really do with that because they're not like terms. So you just leave it negative 4 minus 3x. And then lastly, you divide by the number in front of y. So I divide by 2, and make sure you divide each one of these by 2. So the y's cancel off. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Negative 3 divided by 2 is just negative 3 halves. I'm going to leave it as a fraction because now I can see that my slope is always the number in front of x. And so in this case, make sure you grab the sign, my slope is negative 3 halves. And my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Okay, let's look at another one. I have x, this is problem number 5, x minus 2y equals 10. So remember my first step was to put the x over. So I'm just going to subtract it over on both sides. All right, and now the x's are gone, and I have negative 2y equals 10 minus x. Be careful with this negative sign. Sometimes it gets lost. Make sure you carry it down, and then you divide each side by negative 2, making sure you divide both terms by negative 2. So the negative 2's cancel off, and I'm left with y. I have 10 divided by a negative 2, which is negative 5. And negative divided by a negative now makes a positive. And you always remember the coefficient out in front of the x, if there's not a number there, is 1. So it becomes 1 half x. And so now my slope is always the number in front of x, which you can see is a positive 1 half. You be very diligent with your signs here. All right, let's do one more of these, and then we'll look at a graphing one. So I have number 7, okay, I again am solving for y, so my first step is to get rid of this 2x, and I get rid of it by subtracting it, next we're going to divide by the negative 3, again be careful about the negative sign. So I take each term on both sides and divide by negative 3. The negative 3 goes away here, and we just have y. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 3 ends up positive 2 thirds. And now we can write our slope of our line is the number in front of x, which happens to be positive two-thirds. All right, now let's look at one graphically. I'm going to look at problem number 13 with you. All right, so we want to graph this, and the first thing we have to do is just what we were doing. Solve for y. All right, so when I'm solving for y, I want to first get the x on the other side. So I do that by taking the minus 5x over. And please keep in mind that the negative 9 and the minus 5x are not like terms. So you can't do anything with them. You just write negative 9 minus 5x. All right, and then I have 3y. It's positive, so I don't have to worry about that crazy negative again. And then I just take each term and divide by 3. 
the y's go away. I have negative 9 divided by 3, which is negative 3. Negative 5 divided by 3, which I'm just going to leave as negative 5 divided by 3. And now I want to graph this. So I have to go back to the ideas of how do I graph a line. Well, we're used to our line being in the format y equals mx plus b, where b is my y-intercept. and m is my slope. So this one's not quite in that form, but we can easily make it that form by just switching the negative 5 thirds x first and writing minus 3 second. So you ask yourself, what is my slope? And your slope is negative 5 thirds. And my y-intercept is negative 3. That's my B value. When I'm graphing, I always start at the B. So I'm going to start at the negative 3, and I'm going to put a dot. And then I remember that if my slope is negative 5 over 3, I remember slope is rise over run. So it tells me to rise negative 5 and go right 3. So now some of you might have a problem with this because I, if I rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm off the page. So it might be helpful to put that negative on the bottom. And now I go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And since it's negative 3, it goes left 3, 1, 2, 3. Remember slope man. All right, slope man looks like this. So it had negative slope, so it has to have that part of the eye, the part where it looks like he kind of got beat up a little bit. All right. Hopefully that is enough to help you work on the rest of your problems.